So here I am in the middle of the forest. The leaves are falling, and uh, it's time to review some clues. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Camden video surveillance. And then there's tire tracks. Origami figure. Orchid. We've already looked at all of those, so let's look at the surveillance. Analyze. One thousand five hundred and eighty-three vehicles identified. That's not gonna help you find the killer's car. Maybe if I cross-check it against another clue. Sixteen hundred people drove by that day. No geoanalysis. I, I cross check it against the tire tracks, of course. Model K two ninety three. Car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu eighty three. Chevrolet Malibu eighty three. So now can I go back to the video surveillance? Since I looked at that, or maybe I geoanalyze this now. No, that's not going to work. Select this again. A Chevrolet model corresponding to. Tyrants passed in 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction of 1607, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? We're looking for an 83 Chevrolet. That could possibly be the car that uh, the killer was driving when Sean Mars disappeared. It was also found at, um, I think the tire tracks are from the uh, crime scene where, uh, like, Jeremy Bowles the victim before Sean Mars, where his body was moved to. Alright, let's clear all. Are we done already? Or do we have anything else? Clues, files, maybe we have a new file. We need to find on everyone who has registered that particular car. Not that this criminal would be dumb enough to register the car that they were using to commit the crime. Origami killer victims and MO. Let's look at the MO. Analyze. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. We already heard all of this. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. There's always a railroad line near where the bodies are found. Okay, now what? Just look at the map. Oh, I see. He's circled in green the uh, radius of where the origami killer lives. He lives somewhere near this river. Am I missing something? There's no option to leave, so I must be missing something still. Oh, here's a new clue. It's the Chevrolet. Uh, Eddie can't see the driver's face.
car was stolen, let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. It's registered to Philip D. Campbell. It was reported stolen. No data for geoanalysis. And now we have another clue. We have an ID card. Jackson Neville lives in Southwest Philadelphia. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. <coughs> Mad Jack. 5482 Essington Avenue. Buying and selling Considered to be very dangerous. Born in 82. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. He's got big, thick lips. He looks kind of Cajun. Is that it? No, we're still, um, we still have Jaden. I really want to uh, do something to help Ethan Myers if I can. I earned a trophy, Ludwig Vaughn. Is that for playing the piano well? It's actually Ludwig van Beethoven, isn't it? Ludwig van Mises and Ludwig van Beethoven? I can still do stuff. Help Ethan, yes. Even if there's only one of you has some chances to help him draw his still be able to save his son. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. It must be tougher than I thought. Captain Perry and Lieutenant Blake are talking. They all do. He'll crack. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Going to kick off in one hour. I expect it to be quite an event. Don't you want to wait till we actually got his confession? There's the interrogation room. We've got a dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. Ethan Morris is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. Tapping on the microphone isn't going to do anything. Yeah, you need to turn off the camera so they can't see what you're doing in the other room. And now we need to distract the guard. The glass was facing this way, so this must be the other side of the uh, interrogation chamber. Can I just, just flash my um, FBI badge and say the Bureau is on this? When the Bureau gets called in, the Bureau is in charge. Ethan is taking a dirt nap under the table. Good God, Ethan, some bad Taco Bell. I know the fire sauce is strong compared to the hot sauce, but... You're a young man. Confess? Leave us? Leave us alone. I... Uh... Lieutenant Blake said to... Please! Leave us alone. Right, sir. I'll be at the door if you need anything. Don't be at the door. That's not gonna help. We need you to be in the Bahamas for a week. Take a nice vacation. Christ! Are you alright, Ethan? Oh, we need to uh, unlock the handcuffs. Probably the keys for that are on um, Lieutenant Blake's desk. He 
He was just talking to Charlene a second ago. No, he was talking to Captain Perry right outside his office, and here is his desk. His desk is right there. He's at it. Is there any way to get him away from his desk? Shit, what am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten-year stretch. A ten-year stretch in Husko? Let's not exaggerate. Cops do things like that all the time. Maybe the keys are in Captain Perry's office. I assume uh, Lieutenant Blake isn't just going to go take a coffee break if I ask nicely. Hey Blakey boy, would you like to take a coffee break? You look like you need to piss pretty badly. He put his ear to the door and then changed his mind. Maybe Perry is in there? Who's in here? That's uh, the press conference room? No, that's not the press room. That's some kind of room with a lot of chairs. They have unisex restrooms. They just both say restroom on them. Are there any clues in here? I'm gonna interrogate this toilet seat for a moment. Let out all that cranberry juice. They said it was good for your kidneys, but all it really does is make you flush. Take a good look in the mirror. Okay, hiding out here is not going to solve your problems. You've got serious drug problems and uh, you're about to be complicit in indicting the wrong man. Because they're going to have a really good confession pretty soon. This is my office. I don't... There's nothing I can do in here. Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly, but how do you get him out of here without being noticed? Maybe, uh, the officer who I told to go take a break was, uh, carrying the keys to the handcuffs. I'm going to check Blake's desk one more time and see if Blake, uh, left it. He's still there. Oh, there's a prompt for the garbage container. What could be in the garbage? Oh no, that's the water cooler. That's just to get water again. Where's a water cooler when Ethan needs it? Ethan must be so dehydrated by now. I could bring Ethan some water. There's no option for that, of course. There's the elevator. All right, I'm gonna go back to the interrogation room. It has to be in there somewhere. Someone just like left their walkie-talkie sitting up there. Media Borough Offices, 1st Floor Police Department, 2nd Floor Administrative Office, Media Business Authority, 3rd Floor Community Playroom. This is just some other dude. Charlene can't help me, can she? Charlene is kind of, uh, fugly. And not just physically.
That's the restroom again. Where's the interrogation room? Am I forgetting something? That's my office again. Oh, the interrogation room is around this corner. The officer came back again, and Ethan is still in handcuffs. Now I can't even speak to him. Did I fail this too? Maybe I need to go back into the other room and turn off the camera again. There's no prompt for the camera, so the camera must be off. Maybe now I tap the microphone? Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on it. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. The keys are on his desk. So if I pretend I'm someone else by talking to him through the microphone, then he'll take a nice long break. I just need to find his desk, quickly. Here's an empty desk. Is it this one? Alright, pretend to tie your shoes. Blake is watching. It was real smooth. sneak him out. Maybe look for a police uniform. He's going to put the cuffs on loose, loosely because he doesn't know um, that the camera is turned off. I got it. Uh, is there an extra uniform anywhere? Is that all I need? Just this jacket that says police on it? Is reporting for duty. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't want to say it. Just say you're going to save your son. You're a good man, Norman. I hope. Don't worry, no good deed ever goes unpunished. Earned a trophy, wise guy. Now, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the Oregon killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. 
So Ruth and Marius went back to his motel room. The police were on his tail when he went to the building, so they must have followed him, starting somewhere. The police must know where his motel is if they followed him from his motel to the site of uh, the third trial. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we've lost them. The guy at the desk, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. Yeah, maybe he's the Aragami killer. In a surprising oh, twist, it was the receptionist all along. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Maybe Charlene is the origami the killer. killer Should I say I don't know? Confide, evade, break? Confide. He's gonna, if I press confide though, he's gonna say he is the killer, because he thinks he is. This is actually starting to make sense. Ethan says, I think my other self is testing me. And uh, if Ethan really deeply blames himself for Jason's death, which happened two years ago, then, um, I mean, he really could be trying to figure out whether he loves his son and wants his son to live or die. So he actually could have like split personality disorder and his alternate personality is um, trying to figure out whether he deserves to be a father because like his wife left him after Jason's death and uh, I think that the origami killer, I think his killings actually started two years ago which coincides with um, Jason's death. I really hope this doesn't turn out to be the case. I really hope that uh, it doesn't turn out to be Ethan, you know, setting up these trials and then Ethan also um, going to solve them because it's just a little hokey, but I just want to save the kid at this point. I don't care about anything else. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic, drowned his victims, and has kidnapped his own son. Then never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. And Sean is out of danger. I'll turn myself in, but not until then. She has a crush on him. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, even. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. I don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. Sean will be dead in a few hours. Leave. So this is the day that, uh, this is the third day after Sean was kidnapped, or the fourth day. Every time Madison comes to help Ethan, uh, Ethan kicks her out of the room. That might be a consequence of him feeling bad about getting arrested or not passing the trials, or it might be because of, um, how bad of a job I did playing as Madison earlier. 
I really, really feel like I'm missing like a significant part of the game's plot. There might be like entire subplots that aren't happening because of what I did before. Oh, that's the help button. The box. I have to open another origami figure. He has to open another origami figure. What's he gonna find this time?